Hello ladies and gentlemen, MarauderX here, back with more Let's Play Mega Man X4 goodness. This time we're going to be starting a new game, and we're going to be doing a zero run. And like the last time, the first time I did a zero run, we're going to be using the black armor. It does not add any bonuses, so don't tell me it does. It doesn't, it's just cosmetic. To get the black armor, you hold down the right trigger and press right. One, two, three, four, five, six times. Let go of the right trigger, hold down B, and press A. And that should give you the black armor. Zero. Who are you? My masterpiece. But who are you? After him, he is my nemesis. Our rivalry is what gives me motivation in life. Now go, destroy him. That's an order. Emergency! Emergency! All Maverick Hunters on call should assemble immediately! And Zero's cutscene is drastically different, giving more of an introspective than a story perspective. That's also the first time that you have direct confirmation, I think, that uh, Zero is in fact a wily bot. He has connections to Dr. Wily from the past. Uh, the first time I played this, I commented on how in that scene it looks like uh, there was a dead Mega Man act, or a dead original Mega Man. Uh, Rock, as everyone uh, points out. And uh, people... People got up in arms about that because uh, Keiji Inafune has gone on record saying that Zero can't do that, that's not in Zero's personality, and, you know, I I've had a lot of problems with that because it is in Zero's personality. He was a Wily Bot. Wily Bots were meant to kill. Their job was to destroy and stop Mega Man and kill him. That was their purpose. Uh, every robot Dr. Wily built was built to kill Mega Man. His, there, his rivalry is what gives the motivation in life. His desire to kill Mega Man and build something that could beat him. And, you know, I, I understand as uh, the, uh, the creative force behind Mega Man when you say Zero's not capable of it. Okay, but you're stretching it. Alright, so Dragoon, member of the 14th unit. Uh, we've, we've seen this before. The story doesn't really change much. Um, so I'm gonna continue bitching. <laughs> uh, I... I understand that the creator has come out and said that, oh, Zero's not capable of, of killing, but when you create a villain who becomes a hero, he's an anti-hero. Zero, at one point in time, was completely capable of killing. In one of the cutscenes we'll see later in this project, he's taken out an entire unit of Maverick Hunters. How does he do that? He kills them. Ready. Um, I think a lot of it was they wanted the X-Series to be darker, and the X-Series was darker. They wanted to link that Zero was... had connections to the original franchise, because Zero was supposed to be the original uh, protagonist, but uh, it, it was felt that there would not be enough of a connection to Zero because he was a new character. So they made him a secondary character, and Mega Man X was born. It's basically a, a retelling of the uh, the Mega Man franchise and story that Mega Man beats, you know, eight robot masters. But then they started continuing to link it to uh, the the previous franchises. You see references to Doctor Wily all over the place. So. And you have you either have to talk about what happened. Here what happened is we see Iris! She is the sister of the Colonel. And she's also a uh, love interest for Zero. 
She is infatuated with Zero. Zero plays it off, but he is not. But he is. He's in love with Iris. Because robots feel. At least these robots feel. And so I still have to question how robots with free will can exist with uh, Asimov's three laws. Because obviously you have robots that can think for themselves, but then you have robot, uh, or you have maverick hunters who are designed to kill robots who turn on humans and hurt them. So it's it's crazy. Uh, as you can see, Zero plays a little differently. Uh, not terribly differently. He just he's more melee oriented. Uh, there are some sections of the game that he is easier to deal with than X, and then there are some that he's harder. So, we'll be having fun with that. And incepts the Colonel, who Colonel and Zero have a long-standing rivalry because they're the only two swordsman robots. So, and he came to sa save his sister Iris, which... Iris wasn't here when X did it, so, I mean, again, slight changes to the story, but the base story is still there. I owe you one. But I'm not going to disarm and come with you, even though I just said I owe you one. <laughs> um, what? Uh, yeah. We weren't involved. Yeah, of course you weren't. All sorts of craziness. Again, Zero Stories, uh, er, Zero's version is a little more introspective. It gives more, uh, in relation to Zero and Zero's relationship with all of these characters that were really just introduced. Uh, Colonel was not in any of the previous games. His likeness is in subsequent X Games as, uh, Cygnus, leader of the Maverick Hunters. So I'm not sure if that was done intentionally as a throwback to uh, the Colonel, or what? Uh, I I'm, I'm, was never quite sure about that. And just again, all of Rebel Force being blamed. So yeah, uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here, and I'll see you guys in the next installment. So till then, later everyone.